Welcome to the Big Road Training Series. Today I'm going to show you how to manage unassigned driving events in the Big Road web app. First, what is unassigned driving? Unassigned driving is driving that occurs on a Dashlink equipped truck, either while no driver is logged into the app or while the Dashlink is not connected. As a practical example, let's just say that a driver accidentally disables the Bluetooth on their mobile device and then hops in the truck and drives for two hours without a dash link connection. Big Road will still capture that driving event from the truck CCM and store it as unassigned driving, which can then be claimed by the driver via the mobile app or assigned to the driver by a safety manager via the web app. Safety managers should frequently review the fleet's unassigned driving events because they are considered violations by DOT if left unassigned. To access your list of unassigned driving events, navigate to the Dashboard tab. Any unassigned driving events will show up here under your truck section, and you can select View to see them. Now you want to make sure that you have the Safety Manager role assigned to your profile on Big Road, otherwise you won't be able to assign these events. So the first thing you want to do on this page is determine the period of time that you want to review using this box at the top right hand corner of the page. Now it is important to know that while an event can be annotated after 14 days, it can't be assigned after 14 days. So if you're going to be assigning these events, make sure you get them assigned within that 14 day window. Under the truck section, you have the ability to filter your view down to one truck at a time. Under status, you can filter your events by four different statuses. Unassigned, pending approval, added to draft, and annotated. Just a quick review of what each status means. Unassigned is drive time that hasn't been assigned or annotated yet. Pending approval is unassigned drive time that has been assigned to a driver in a correction and is awaiting review by a driver. Added to draft is unassigned drive time that has been added to a log that already has existing carrier edits in draft form, which haven't been sent to the driver yet. So when you send your edits to a driver, the unassigned driving event will be sent along with them as a batch. Annotated is unassigned drive time that has been annotated by the safety manager as permitted by the ELD mandate. So on our table of events here, each event will appear with location and driver details to kind of suggest who that driving event may belong to. Next to an event, select show details to see those. We can see here for this event at 1.03 p.m. for Elantra, the location prior to and after the event was Waterloo, Ontario, and the driver prior to and after the event was training team. So we can probably safely assume that this driving event belongs to training team. However, if you're ever not sure, do confirm this with your driver before you assign an event, because once it's been accepted by the driver, it cannot be removed or reassigned to a different driver. To assign an event, first make sure the log has been signed. Once you've confirmed that it's been signed, select the event, select assign. You can use your search bar here to select your driver. Click on their name and then select assign. This will send an update to the driver as a carrier edit. Just like other carrier edits, the driver will be prompted to review the correction and approve it or reject it. You can see all pending events using your pending approval filter here. Once approved, the driving event for that day, time, and duration will be added to the driver's log, and the unassigned driving event will be removed from your list. If they reject it, the event will reappear in your list of unassigned driving events. If the unassigned driving event conflicts with an existing driving event on the log, you will not be able to assign that event to that driver. To annotate or add a note to an unassigned driving event, select the event, select annotate, and then provide a comment or a reason for your annotation. And select save. Now the last thing I want to do is show you how to remove an event. If an unassigned driving event has been incorrectly assigned to a driver or assigned to the wrong driver, it can still be edited as long as it hasn't yet been approved by the driver. To do this, use the filter bar to filter down to your pending events. On the event, select show details. 
and then at the bottom right hand corner of the event, select Review Suggestion. This will navigate to that day's log. Now scroll down here to your list of events, and you'll find them here listed with a little blue denotation. Now you'll notice when you assign an event to a driver's log, it actually creates two events on their log, essentially just a start and an end. Make sure that you remove both events. Now if we navigate back to the dashboard, our event will reappear here in our list of unassigned driving events. That's pretty much it for managing unassigned driving events in the web app. Thanks for watching.